Zach, you've talked about how you're going to make decisions about your future after the season. But what's it like getting ready, knowing you've got this game now, it's set, you're going to, you know who you're going to be playing, and, and have this opportunity with this group of guys you know, one more time next week? Yeah, I'm pumped. You know, I think that's the message uh, through everywhere. You know, with all the guys in the locker room, is, is we're just we're super excited to play this game, and uh, you know it's going to be warm. I think that's the coolest part. Is it's going to be warm, and um, you know it's just another opportunity. I think that's the best best thing that we can have, and um, you know what a great team to play against as well. You know, it's going to be an explosive offense we're going against on the other side, and so uh, we're going to have to uh, have everything uh, put together to, to to play well against these guys. They're a good team. Zach, thank you very much for giving us a fun season to cover. As journalists, we really appreciate it. And uh, just put you on the spot. I ask it to Kalani and to Kafusi both. But if you were to pick out a, a play of this season that just is one of your more favorite from you or your teammates or whoever, what would that be? And then if you had a mulligan to get one back, what would that be? Yeah, it's hard to say. You know, I wouldn't say you know specifically a play that I would want back, but a game. You know, I want to play Coastal Carolina again. I think that would be. Um, you know, one that the whole team would want back. Um, you know, we didn't come ready to play, and uh, we didn't do what we were supposed to do. But, um, you know, a memorable game. Um, I would say one of the most fun wins that we had this year uh, was the Boise State game. I would say that was a big one for us. You know, that was a really good team. Um, and I feel like we just had a, a great game plan going in, and, and we knew exactly what we needed to do. And, um, you know, we really put some points up on those guys, and the defense did a good job holding them. So, you know, I wouldn't say a specific play in that game. Um, you know, thinking about it, but just the game in general was exciting for us as a team. Thank you. Hey Zach, I know a lot of the season you guys were really looking forward to playing in a New Year's Six game. Is this kind of the next best thing, this game, Florida before Christmas, all that for you guys? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is a great opportunity for us. This is a great team. Um, you know, we're really excited for the challenge. Um, you know, I really don't think there's much else to say about it. You know, we're, we're pumped and, and we get to keep playing football. There's so many teams that haven't had nearly the amount of games that we've had and, and the opportunities we've had this year. And so we're just excited to keep playing football. It sounds like your dad and uh, Dustin Gabriel's dad played together or something like that. Do you know him at all with your Hawaii ties? I don't. No, I actually didn't even know that. My dad hasn't even said anything to me. Um, I don't even know if he knows that. So, um that's cool, though. I mean, if that is true, I'll have to ask him about it. Do you feel any sort of, I don't know, like you obviously don't play against him, per, you know, on the same field at the same time, but do you feel uh, any sort of matchup kind of vibe there going against him? Uh, you know, nothing to do with, you know, me or against him. You know, it's completely the wrong way to look at it. You know, for me, it's, um, you know, BYU, UCF. Uh, you know, I think two explosive offenses, it's going to be a game of, us executing, you know, really, I'm, I'm going to look at it as us against their defense. Um, you know, I know we typically don't even watch film on on the uh, opposing team's offense, and um, you know, it'd be the same this week. You know, he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but um, you know, I'm going to approach it just like you know every single game uh, that we've played so far this year. We've played some some other really good quarterbacks, you know, the same, and so um, you know, that's the focus. All right, questions from Jay Catch, Norma Gonzalez, and Mitch Harper. Yeah, Zach, I've got a similar question to what Jay just asked, but with regards to watching other quarterbacks in the college game, like a Dylan Gabriel, who are highly thought of like yourself, do you watch them much in season, or is that more of kind of an off-season thing for you to go back and watch their film and learn from them? Uh, yeah, that's more of an off-season thing, um, you know, really, and that just that just comes with, you know, uh, players that I want to play like. You know, I haven't ever watched UCF film before, but, um, you know, I think some of our coaches have for scheme stuff. Um, I'm not really sure, but you know, last year I watched a lot of you know Joe Joe Burrow, and that was really just to see his transition, his senior year, and how how well he played and the things that he did, and um, you know that was that was the reason I watched you know that stuff to try and replicate the game that he played, um, you know. But this is a great team we're going against. Zach, do you feel that BYU still has something to prove, and if so, what is it? Yeah, you know, it's hard to say. I think I think we consistently just need to prove that we're a good team. You know, I think we um, had a loss that, that we shouldn't have. You know, I can I can say that for the whole team is, is, you know, I feel like if we had that game again, we would definitely approach it differently. And, 
Um, you know, it's hard to say, but I still feel like there is more to prove about you know, how good of a team that we can be and how good of a team that we are. And, and, you know, you're not a good team if you can't finish the season off right. And so this is a big one for us and a big bowl game. You know, it's hard to specifically say what, what there is left to prove, but, um, you know, we don't want to end with two, two losses. It's not fun. Zach, sometimes with bowl games, they can be decided before the game's even kicked if some teams are not up for a game. You being a captain, what are you going to do leading up to this bowl game to make sure you and you guys are, are ready to, to take on this challenge of, of UCF? Yeah, I mean, exactly what we've done every single game this year. We're going to you know, approach it in practice. We're going to game plan. We're going to see what um, you know, we can do to attack this defense. And, um, you know, Kalani's going to put a good game plan together for our defense against that offense. And, um, you know, really, we're going to do exactly what we've done all year. Um, we're going to come out with the mindset to score points um, and really just try and finish as, finish as well as we can. You know, this is a good defense, and we're going to have to come out ready to play. All right, that's it for today. Thanks, Zach. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Zach.